All right, Dwayne with Phoenix Typewriter, JC Business Machines. This is the big Xerox 6015 machine. It's got the, uh, let me flip this keyboard around here. That's what we're going to fix is this keyboard. So once you get the machine apart, it's got that keyboard. Flip the keyboard upside down right here somewhere. Give yourself somewhere to work. What I want to do too is uh, prop this keyboard up so that the keys aren't being pushed. So I'm going to put some wedges here. I have. I'm going to put this in here. Try to hold the camera. Then I hold the keyboard up high. There we go. Side two. Hard to do it one-handed, but all right. So now the camera down here. All right. All right. So there we go. Keyboard's up in the air, and nothing's pushing those buttons on the bottom. So this has a bunch of screws. I've already taken them out, except for the last one here in the middle. And that comes out. Now, um, this is probably different than the six, you know, the six one five machine. This is the six zero one five, but you still flip the keyboard off, take all the screws off. And this this panel is going to lift out off. This one has got. A solder joint over here that keeps this membrane. It's got to be flipped together, and then that exposes the pads. A lot of times, these pads will stick right here. They'll stick on the thing, and you just gotta just gotta peel it off like that. Flip it back down to the corresponding spot. But here's what we want to get to: these pads. These silver pads are just like these. They have a little foam in them, and that deteriorates. And this is what happens right there. They either deteriorate and flatten out completely and separate, like these guys, this top row right here. And I've already been in here to replace these pads. You got to peel the the old one off here. This piece. This piece has to be peeled off. This is the old pad. It's got self-sticky. This is the self-sticky self part. But you gotta carefully peel this off. You gotta do that for every one of these. That's bad. But if you notice, you know, most of these have an elevation to them. Like these, let's say these two right here. See how this one is still got a little cushion. You can see it. This one is flat. See that? How it's pushed down? The level of that one is lower. It's gone too. It's it's deteriorated to nothing. See, it's just nothing. That's bad. So we're just gonna find the bad ones here and replace them. And check the space bar. It's another one that goes bad right here, and it looks like it's pretty flat. Well, it is now. There's just nothing left of that foam. It's nothing like the, the new piece. It's got a lot of foam. Take one of these out of here, baby. Kind of tough to see the new ones. They got a lot of foam in there. Squish. That one doesn't have anything. So that's the process that we're at right now is to take all the bad ones out, which I hope isn't too many because I don't have that many pads, but and then reassemble it. This would get all those back in here. So these pads have a silver side and then a double sticky side and you gotta peel this. You gotta peel this 
backing off right here. It's very, very tricky sometimes. But there she goes right there. So it's got a sticky side. Let's go ahead and do one of these right here. Put it in this number one spot right there. Just drop it in there. Oops. Maybe, uh, maybe find something to grip it with. Set it down in there. And make sure it's even. And uh, just push down. That's it. That's it. It will stay there. That one looks pretty flat too. So much higher that sits. And even that one or that one. These also look like they're the uh, the big pads instead of the small pads. The other are bigger than that overall diameter. But that's how you replace pads on a Xerox Memory Writer keyboard. Good day. <laughs>